Good evening, and welcome to Hollywood Hills High School's 53rd commencement ceremony. On behalf, yes. <laughs> On behalf of Hollywood Hills High School faculty and administration, we are pleased to have you in attendance as we honor our graduates. Tonight's ceremony is one of respect and recognition that is designed to provide memories and impressions that will last a lifetime. We ask that you treat this special moment with dignity and respect and not cause any unnecessary distractions. We respectfully ask each of you to take a moment now to turn off all cell phones or place them on silent. For safety reasons, flash and video recording is permitted only from your seats. As a courtesy to our graduates, we will be taking a photograph of each graduate as they walk across the stage to receive their diploma. Guests are not permitted to sit or stand in the aisle, nor is anyone allowed to approach the graduate seating area during the ceremony. Your cooperation is needed and appreciated. Lastly, but most importantly, we need you to remain seated during the ceremony. We will begin in just a few moments. Thank you. Buenas noches y bienvenidos a la quincuagésima tercera ceremonia de graduación de la Escuela Secundaria Hollywood Hills. En nombre de la facultad y la administración de la Escuela Secundaria Hollywood Hills, nos complace tenerlos presentes mientras honramos a nuestros graduados. La ceremonia de esta noche es de respeto y reconocimiento y está diseñada para brindar recuerdos e impresiones que durarán toda la vida. Le pedimos que trate este momento especial con dignidad y respeto y que no cause distracciones innecesarias. Les pedimos respetuosamente a cada uno de ustedes que se tome un momento para apagar todos los teléfonos celulares o ponerlos en silencio. Por razones de seguridad, la grabación de video y fotos con flash solo se está permitida desde sus asientos. Como cortesía para nuestros graduados, Estaremos tomando una fotografía de cada graduado mientras caminan por el escenario para recibir su diploma. Los invitados no pueden sentarse o pararse en el pasillo, ni tampoco se permite que nadie se acerque al área de asientos para graduados durante la ceremonia. Su cooperación es necesaria y apreciada. Por último, pero lo más importante, Necesitamos que permanezca sentado durante la ceremonia. Señoras y señores, en este momento les presento la promoción de la Escuela Secundaria Hollywood Hills del 2021.
ladies and gentlemen, at this time I present to you our Hollywood High School Class of 2021. At this time, we ask all guests to stand for the presentation of colors by the Hollywood Hills High School JROTC Color Guard and Pledge of Allegiance by Julina Solomon, as well as the singing of the national anthem by Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Inajali Beato. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see So proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright star through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so Thank you, Ms. Solomon and Cadet Beato. Everyone may be seated. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce our proud principal of the Hollywood, High, Hollywood Hills High School Spartans, Mr. Daniel Most. Just want to take it in for a moment. <laughs> Good evening, family, friends, guests, faculty and staff, and most of all, our Hollywood Hills High School graduating class of 2021.
I'd like to take a moment to thank the incredible faculty and staff of Hollywood Hills High School for all of their hard work with the class of 2021 and all of our students under the most challenging of circumstances this year. And it is with great pleasure that I introduce our guests, staff, and students on the stage with us this evening. First, I'd like to welcome our school board member, Ms. Ann Murray from District 1. Dr. Ted Toomer, Director of Leadership Development. Dr. Lori Canning, the Chief Executive Director of Early Learning and Language Acquisition. Our Hollywood Hills High School staff on stage are Mr. Louis Espinosa, Intern Principal. Ms. Sarah Pierce, Assistant Principal. Ms. Shamarley Johnson, Assistant Principal. Ms. Angelica Perez, Assistant Principal. And Ms. Alexandra Ramos, Senior Class Co-Sponsor. Also joining us to read our names this evening, our Guidance Director, Ms. Nathalie Fasosa, and Mr. George Pofal, English Teacher. We're also very blessed to have a tremendous relationship with all of the schools within our zone, and I'd like to give a special welcome to many of you guys, uh, middle school assistant principal, Mr. Stephen Williams from Driftwood Middle School. A principal, oh my gosh. I said assistant principal so many times. My apologies, sir. <laughs> Last but not least, our students on stage, uh, Ms. Jelena Solomon, our senior class president. Ms. Lori Lauriston, our senior class student speaker. Ms. Danielle Miller, our salutatorian. And Ms. Ifiani Uwadia, our valedictorian. We are also very fortunate to have elected officials from the city of Hollywood joining our family and friends to celebrate this great milestone in the lives of our students. Here with us this evening in our audience are Mr. Josh Levy, the mayor of Hollywood, Ms. Carol S. Schumann, commissioner from District 1, Ms. Tracy Clary, commissioner from District 3, Mr. Adam Gruber, commissioner from District 4, and Mr. Kevin Biederman, commissioner from District 5. Oh, one more. Ms. Linda Anderson, Commissioner from District 4, and finally, representing our wonderful partnership with the Seminole Tribe of Florida, Ms. Shavana Daniels. We also have a few staff members from Hollywood Hills who have family members that are graduating this evening, so we'd like to take a moment to acknowledge uh, Ms. Diana Hernandez, one of our cafeteria staff members, and Ms. Louise Watson, our, one of our facility staff members. We are so lucky and blessed to be able to have a ceremony like this today because of all of the sacrifices of the members of our members of the armed forces. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge our past, present, and future members of the armed forces. Please take a moment and stand if you have served, are currently serving, or will be enlisting in the military. Thank you for your service. The School Board of Broward County, Florida is composed of nine elected officials. Seven are elected to represent specific areas of the county, and two are elected to at-large or county-wide seats. Tonight, we are pleased to have one of these school board members with us to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2021. Ms. Murray was born in Winthrop, Massachusetts, moving to Hollywood, Florida in 1968 with her now deceased husband, Charles Chickie Murray, and children. She has resided at her Boulevard Heights address for over 40 years. Her children attended local schools, Hollywood Park Elementary, Apollo Middle, MacArthur High, and Nova Schools. Ms. Murray was first elected in November 2008 and was re-elected in November 2010, 2014, and 2018. During her tenure as school board member, Ms. Murray has served as vice chair from November 2010 to 2011 and was selected as chair by her colleagues in November 2011. Since Ms. Murray took office in 2008, she has worked tirelessly with many accomplishments seeing fruition. 
to represent District 1's 50 public and charter schools, of which 30 are Title I schools. Ms. Murray began her career with the School Board of Broward County in 1970. She worked her way up through the ranks and held numerous positions in the transportation department, including school bus operator, driver trainer, transportation specialist, terminal shift supervisor, supervisor for transportation operations, and terminal manager. She has also served as a Broward Teachers Union shop steward in 2007-2008 and with the Federation of Public Employees from 1974 through 1986. Ms. Murray received an Associate of Arts degree from Broward College and has taken courses at the South Florida Center for Educational Leaders and Florida International University's Union School for Women. Ms. Murray is an FSBA certified school board member and she participated in training for the Broward County Public School Board to earn the Master Board Distinction provided by the Florida School Boards Association, just to name a few. Ms. Murray is very involved in her community and she serves on the Broward Education Foundation, is a representative to the Greater Florida Consortium of Schools, Council of Great City Schools, Broward County School Board Legal Services Committee, and a Broward County School Board alternate legislative liaison at the federal and state levels. She's a member of the Broward Democratic Executive Committee, Broward League of Women Voters, Hollywood Democratic Club, and the Hollywood Fire Department CERT. Her historic involvement includes being a Broward County School Board representative to the Broward County Juvenile Justice Board, 17th Judicial Circuit Court Family Law Advisory Group, Children's Services Board, Broward County Commission on Substance Abuse, and the Broward County Comprehensive School Health Advisory. Again, just to name a few. And now I'd like to bring to the podium Ms. Murray, our wonderful school board member. Thank you, Mr. Moss. It sounds like I'm around a long time, doesn't it? Good evening, family, friends, staff, and graduates. Congratulations, Hollywood Hills Spartans, class of 2021. Well, you did it. You accomplished one of the major early milestones of your lives, high school graduation. This is a major step in the journey of your lives, one that should be recognized for immense significance. It is, not, it is an act not only of personal commitment, but one also of pride. You have worked hard to get to this day, and your work did not go wasted. A high school diploma is a wonderful tool in this world, one that opens many doors to opportunities for anyone who works hard enough to earn one. But graduation is not an end goal itself, but instead part of the larger journey of life. Life is a journey, and all accomplishments you have achieved during this course should be taken as starting points for future achievements. Your graduations that serve as a launching point projecting you to wherever you want to go. Whether you venture towards learning a trade or continue your education at a college, university, or technical school, be passionate, find your passion, and live your passion. For those of you who Google everything, you can Google for an exam answer. Don't answer that one. You can Google who's the hottest Instagram model. You can even Google how to start a career. But you cannot Google to find what's in your heart. If you do what you are passionate about, it will never feel like learning, or you'll never feel like it's just another day at work. You will be fulfilled and a role model for those who will follow. The road that lies ahead won't be easy. There will be obstacles and miss exits, potholes and roadblocks. There will be times when each of you will feel like you cannot possibly go on, but nothing worthwhile is easy and that includes making the most out of your life. Now I know you're all thinking, okay, Grandma, finish up and park it. <laughs> but if you take anything away with you from this ceremony, remember, never give up on yourselves. Keep pushing, because you can achieve any dream you set out to achieve. From this day forward, make each decision with your best interests in mind. Be the best you can, so that you will fill your life and the lives of those close to you with happiness and with pride. You have already taken the first step by making it to this ceremony today. Now it's the time to take the next steps in life's journey and begin to build your future. Again, congratulations, Hollywood Hills, 
school, high school, Spartans, class of 2021. Okay. Back again, did you miss me? Thank you very much, Ms. Murray. Good evening again to our parents, families, honored guests, our amazing Spartan faculty and staff, and again, my amazing graduates of the class of 2021. It's okay, let's do that again. This will predate some of the students, but uh, one of my favorite bands of all time, The Grateful Dead, once sang the lyrics, thank you, once sang the lyrics, what a long, strange trip it's been. I truly believe that this aptly sums up the last year and a half of all of our lives. Who among us could have ever believed on March 13th, 2020, that we would be taking and teaching classes virtually, or that we would be talking to each other on teams across a computer screen for over a year? As this was my first year as principal at Hills, it made it just that much more challenging. When I found out I was gonna be your principal, I was so excited and proud to be the new leader of the Spartan family, to get to know each of you and your stories, to come to your athletic events, your performances, and award ceremonies. The students are what a school is all about, what makes it tick, and the seniors are the lifeblood of that school culture. And I worried, boy did I worry, like a new parent, every imaginable fear kept running through my mind. Were you all okay? Were your families? How were your classes and teachers? Would you be able to adjust to online learning? How would you handle missing games, club meetings, competitions? And worst of all, as I learned that many of you lost loved ones during the pandemic, how were you dealing with the trauma? Did you need help? What could I do for you? Would you be able to persevere and overcome all of the challenges that the pandemic had thrown at you? As the year progressed and I got to meet some of you in person and email and talk on the phone with others, my worries started to melt away. I still had my concerns, of course, but at every opportunity, you all showed me what Spartan pride and desire are all about. 162 of you are graduating with either the scholar or merit designation or both on your diploma. Through our career and technical education department, over 140 of you have earned industry certifications in various disciplines. Our world languages department has led 33 of you to earn a gold or silver state seal of biliteracy and 10 additional gold medals at the district world languages academic competition. Sitting among you are five silver knight nominees and one silver knight honorable mention award winner. In our entrepreneurship leadership military academy, 46 seniors have been awarded over $4.2 million in scholarships, completed, <laughs> completed 8,671 hours of community service and have an average weighted GPA of 4.2. Our, <laughs> our JRTC program's JLab academic team made it to level two competition for the first time in our school's history our cadets also participated in service learning projects, including raising money for the American Heart Association and providing color guards for community events. Our athletic teams also shined during the pandemic with our football team and girls volleyball team, both finishing with their best records in over 10 years. Our flag football team finished ranked number 25 in the state and our softball team finished ranked number 24 in the state. 13 of you were named Broward County Athletic Association All-Stars, and four of you have signed letters of intent to play sports at the collegiate level. The accomplishment that I think I am most amazed by is your service to others. The Spartan class of 2021 has earned 33,092 community service hours during your high school career. As I think about the litany of achievements that your class has reached, I realize that you have not done these things alone. Your parents, grandparents, siblings, friends, teachers, coaches, and mentors have blazed a trail for you to follow and built a bridge to help you cross the rocky paths of life to reach your achievements. 25 years ago, I read a poem that inspired me so, I credit it as one of the main reasons I chose to become an educator. The title of the poem is The Bridge Builder by Will Allen Dromgul, and I'd like to share it with you this evening. An old man, 
going alone highway, came at the evening cold and gray to a chasm vast and deep and wide. The old man crossed in the twilight dim. The sullen stream held no fear for him. But he turned when safe on the other side and built a bridge to span the tide. Old man, said a fellow pilgrim near, you're wasting your strength with building here. Your journey will end with the ending day. You never again will pass this way. You've crossed the chasm deep and wide. Why build you this bridge at evening tide? The builder lifted his old gray head. Good friend in the path I have come, he said. There followeth after me today a youth whose feet must pass this way. This chasm that has been naught to me to that fair-haired youth may a pitfall be. He too must cross in the twilight dim. Good friend, I am building this bridge for him. I am so proud to stand here tonight and be with all of you at this commencement ceremony. It's funny, really. We think of graduation as an ending, but the word commencement means to begin something. This night is not the end of a journey, but a celebration of your first steps into the world. As you take these steps, I implore you to always remember to be a bridge builder. As you reach greater and greater heights in the future, always remember to stop and reach out a hand and build a bridge to those who would follow in your footsteps as others have built a bridge for you to help you achieve your dreams. As a school, state, nation, and world, we will only truly know peace and happiness when we remember that helping each other rise to be our best is the greatest gift and service that we can give to each other and to honor those that have built bridges for us. Spartan class of 2021, I'm gonna say it again, you have made me so proud to be your principal. You have faced the challenges of the last year and a half and a uh, year and a half head on and come out victorious on the other side. Know that no obstacle can ever stop you so long as you don't give up. As author Lewis Carroll said, in the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take, the relationships we've, we were afraid to have, and the decisions we waited too long to make. We can't wait to see you back on campus and hear and celebrate all of your successes. As you go out into the world, remember, once a Spartan, always a Spartan, and we will be waiting for you at home at Hollywood Hills High School. Best of luck to you in all of your future endeavors. Thank you, Mr. Most. Each year, a senior is selected to speak as a representative for the graduating class. To continue with this tradition, we have selected a young lady who was raised in Hollywood, Florida in a community known as Liberia. Beginning in ninth grade, she joined the spoken word team, DOA, Determination Over Adversity, and has entered several writing and slam poetry competitions over the years. She has a keen sense of talent and interest in acting, performing in plays since fifth grade. She plans to expand on this talent and pursue performing arts as a career. After graduation, she will attend Broward College and then transfer to FIU to double major in English and theater studies. She is graduating today with a 3.4 on weighted GPA. She is definitely one of my babies and it is my honor and absolute pleasure to welcome your senior class speaker, Ms. Lori Lauriston. Hey. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I'm really excited to say that we've made it to the end. We walked in young and hopeful, and now we are walking out that way too, with hope, with promise, joy, and excitement. It's been four years of one of the biggest roller coasters of our lives, and we are ending it as resilient as ever. I remember coming in as a freshman. I was just so excited to be a high schooler. And then I cried on the third day because I had no friends. <laughs> a lot of what I remember, though, is that we had to do a lot to gain the attention of administration. I don't think anyone saw our class coming with as much excitement and promise that we had. Our sophomore year is when we all became a bit more familiar with our surroundings and were able to create stronger connections with each other and the staff. This is also where I think capacity comes into play. As individuals, we have always had the capacity to do anything and be anything that we've ever put our minds to. However, as students in a sea of other students, our capacity has often been determined for us. With high or low test scores comes lists of highest to lowest capacity and classifications based on that capacity. 
we're often led to believe that the scope of our abilities are limited to intelligence. And as class ranks started to rise and lower, this had become clearer and often even discouraging. Moving on to our junior year, we enjoyed our first like seven months with the newfound upperclassmen pride. More attention from our administration because things were starting to get real. What college are you going to? What are your plans? Are you studying for your SAT? How many APs are you taking? You know, until disaster struck. I'll see you after spring break turned into months of isolation. We were faced with illness, loneliness, and just so much uncertainty. I think it's important to note that although our individual experiences during that time were also unique, it taught us a lot about ourselves and how we look at others. It truly isn't a time we should take for granted or skip over and forget, and it definitely isn't a time to take for granted again. Although it was an inconvenience to so many of us, and even worse than an inconvenience for more of us, it's important to go back and reflect on all the times that we may have felt too human, or the times we may have felt inhuman, too compassionate, too hurt by the current state of the world that we felt we may always be alone. It's also much more important to note those who lost their lives to COVID and to remember the way we love them and them us. But the theme for 2021 is now resilience. Throughout our lives, we've experienced joy and such familiar interactions that once we were left alone to face the lack of those bonds, we were left to imagine a pending future without them. It's now taught us to appreciate those bonds and appreciate the love that is given to us because without that, we'd be lost. And I believe that in this year, we were all shown capacity in a way that it has never been shown to us before. That capacity does not only exist within intelligence, and it truly lies within ourselves. That emotional intelligence is important. What you learned about yourself is important, and what you learned about yourself all four years is essential to what you are capable of. Logistics are not everything because we are people, individual people, not percentages, not test scores, and 100% not SAT scores because the SAT is kind of hard. <laughs> Everything that you did in that time, every new hobby you picked up and everyone you fought and protested for is a part of your capacity because capacity does not exist in one area of expertise. Anything you are willing to learn is indicative of that. Whether it be sewing or computer science, your willingness to learn anything in the world, even a capacity for compassion or empathy, is what determines your overall capacity. I'd like to now extend my appreciation for those who didn't allow us to burn out, not even this year. I'd like to extend my appreciation for the admin who showed us kindness in the form of motivation, fee waivers, compassion, and care, and the ones who haven't let us fail just yet. I'd like to extend my appreciation for the teachers who bumped that 89% to a 91, <laughs> and to the teachers who didn't, that motivated us to do better next quarter. I'd like to extend my thanks to the teachers and admin who worked to the very last minute to keep us afloat when things may have been sinking for them at the exact same time. Their resilience is just as important as ours because they stayed strong for us when we didn't think we could. And a special, genuine shout out to Ms. Pierce for teaching me truth and transparency. As a student and an individual, there's no way I could have done it this well without you. So Hills Class of 21, here we are. Look to your friends as a reminder of who you walked in with. Mm, sorry and appreciate those who you're walking out with now, as you now may continue the journey with them. As of now, we may no longer be a student body, but we have always been individuals. So remember that academia has no restraints on capacity, and we have the capacity to do or be absolutely anything, to love, to create anything. When you reflect back on us, Remember us as the individuals we have always been. And in the off chance that you ever forget to remember us as single humanitarian units, please continue to remember us as class of 2021.
She had to make me cry. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. You know I love you. I am now pleased to introduce another outstanding young lady who was also born and raised in Hollywood, Florida. She is definitely a natural debater and helped bring back the debate club to the school because she definitely does not take no for an answer. I hear laughter, you know. <laughs> she was the president of Key Club, executive officer for the Entrepreneur and Leadership Military Academy, the liaison of National Honor Society, debate team board member, and youth ambassador for the city of Hollywood. She was also nominated for the 2021 Silver Knight Award. She received Cadet of the Year Award for Elma and has earned 302 service hours. She was an active athlete and is lettered in cross country. She has been awarded a 100% Bright Future Scholarship and more than $7,000 in additional scholarships. She has a GPA of 5.14 and will be graduating high school with an AA from Broward College. She will be at, yes, take a minute, that's worth <laughs> celebrating. She will be attending the University of Florida, which I'm sure is making most very, very proud, and will be majoring in political science. Who'd have thought? Knowing this young lady, this will definitely not be the last that we hear from her. It is my pleasure to introduce our salutatorian, the amazing Danielle Miller. Thank you, Ms. Pierce, and thank you, Lori, for that incredible speech and that incredibly tough act to follow. <laughs> Good evening, teachers, administrators, parents, those joining us over live stream, and most importantly, seniors. We made it. After four years of classes and 14 months of Teams calls, we have reached the classic milestone that is high school graduation. But first, there's a few people I'd like to thank. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my family for always being there to support me. I wouldn't be where I am today without your encouragement. Thank you to all my friends in Key Club, NHS, Debate, STV, Women of Tomorrow, and of course, Elma. And a special thank you to Danielle Mazzarella. At every parent night, quarter night, and award ceremony, First Sergeant Valdez would always say, first comes Mazzarella and then comes Miller, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm really glad we're friends. I also want to thank Jeremy Acaba, who asked me to include him, who asked me to include him in this speech because he's got to be the center of attention somehow. So give it up for Jeremy. <laughs> Thank you to my teachers and mentors. Thank you to Commissioner Shuham and Commissioner Kaleri for mentoring me through the Youth Ambassadors Program. First Sergeant Valdez for pushing me to be my best. Ms. Rosales for guiding me through Key Club and through service. Ms. Pierce for going above and beyond as an administrator and driving the debate team to tournaments herself when we didn't have a bus. Ms. Silber for helping me with my service hours and all those emails all those emails about new opportunities and scholarships. Mr. Freeman for keeping the candy jar and back room well stocked. <laughs> Major Smith for all those visits to your office trying to perfect my class schedule. For Sergeant Gonzalez for teaching me how to grow the leader within me. Ms. Prosper for being there for all those last minute debate preps. Coach Cabot for being crazy but the good crazy that makes school exciting. Dr. Payan for actually making chemistry interesting. Ms. Pam for your patience and kindness as a secretary. And thank you to everyone else that has helped me survive these past four years. Across the globe, this year has served as a year of introspection for many, myself included. With this turbulent, dare I say unprecedented year, came some important life lessons. The most important, I think, was our collective ability to adapt and overcome in this strange new normal. No one could have envisioned a senior year like the one that challenged the class of 2021. All the years of work have come to what seems like an anticlimactic conclusion. And yet, here we are, at the end and the beginning, because life does indeed go on. We've made a lot of compromises this year, but this experience has taught us to be grateful for the things that we do have. 
We've learned how to make the best of a bad situation and that nothing in this life is guaranteed. This was a hard lesson for the class of 2021 to learn, but I am proud of us for what we have accomplished. I hope we use this experience to live life to the fullest, and I hope that once everything's opened up, we can have the best summer ever, because we deserve it. Someone may have told you that now that you're graduating, you're moving on to the real world, but I challenge that notion. Calling our time here anything but real would be a disservice to our experiences. What is real is that the class of 2021 has had a senior year unlike any other in history, and we are stronger because of it. What is real is that many of us here today have lost loved ones, struggled with anxiety and depression, or have faced some other hidden trauma through these last four years. And yet by overcoming these obstacles, we have grown and become better equipped to handle the challenges that await us. So don't let anyone tell you you don't know how to handle the real world. As one of the great visionaries of our childhood, SpongeBob SquarePants, once said, you never really know the true value of a moment until it becomes a memory. He's also said, you don't need a license to drive a sandwich, but that somehow feels less relevant. Even with the challenges we face this year, let's not forget the memories we've made, the club meetings, the dances, the games, the lunchroom chatter. Remember even those mundane things and in-between moments that we often overlook. All the memories we've made, we will carry with us for the rest of our lives. The class of 2021 will prove to be one for the history books. So wherever life takes you after leaving here today, remember to be courageous, be impactful, and most importantly, be happy. I can't wait to see what we do next. Thank you. Thank you, Danielle. You are truly a force to be reckoned with in this world. At this time, I am enthusiastically pleased to in introduce our next young lady. She has been involved in numerous extracurricular activities, including the National Honor Society for three consecutive years. She is an active member of the spoken word team, Determination Over Adversity, for the past four years. She is a key club member, a brace cadet. She serves as a tutor at Sterling Elementary and volunteered biweekly at the Humane Society. She has accumulated over 400 service hours. She has excelled academically by taking four years of Spanish honors and six advanced placement classes, earning scores of levels four or five that earned her the honor as an AP scholar with distinction. She has also earned 60 dual enrollment credits and is graduating with her AA from Broward College with a GPA of 5.2. She has also been awarded the 100% Bright Future Scholarship with over $10,000 in additional scholarships. In the fall, she will also be attending the University of Florida. Do you have something to do with this, Mr. Most? Okay. University of Florida, where she'll be majoring in biology on a pre-med track. Thank you, I know that in my old age, I will be well taken care of. Uh, <laughs> I do remember um, this young lady, one of her first poems in ninth grade was about making her mom proud by becoming valedictorian. And I'm just so proud of you for making it happen. <laughs> I was not going to cry today, I, I almost made it. It is with tremendous love and pride and it is my distinct honor to welcome our class of 2021 Spartan valedictorian, Ifani Wadia. Hello. Hey. Hold on. It's upside down. My bad. Whew. Good evening, class of 2021, teachers, parents, staff, and other dignified guests. My name is Afani, and it is with pride that I stand before you as Hollywood Hills High School class of 2021's valedictorian. It's my pleasure to speak in front of you all this evening. Now for the thank yous. I'd first like to thank my father from Nigeria. He's sitting over there, red cap. <laughs> Who 
imparted me with stories of back home. While many of them were told for the sake of entertainment, they all had a lesson of pride. In everything I do, I represent my family in Naija and have the potential to bring honor to them. I'd also like to thank my mother who taught me humility. No matter who I become, she tells me to carry myself with integrity and remember my roots. I'm very grateful to have them as my foundation. Now. Special thanks to Ms. Pierce for her selflessness and leadership. Other than my parents, there's no other figure in my life who has sacrificed as much time, energy, and money on my behalf. And I'd like to thank, thank, take the time to acknowledge everything she has done for her community, especially for students of color. You know, she's kind of the reason why I'm here right now, you know. Her involvement in spoken word alongside Ms. Prosper has given a voice to students who otherwise would not have been able to tell their stories. I'd also like to thank Ms. Washington, Ms. Silver, Ms. Avila, and Ms. Ramirez for always looking out for me. And other students in our times in need. They exemplify the impact of educators and students' lives and how critical they are to our development outside of academics. I'm also grateful for teachers like Mr. Cantillo and Dr. Pion, who are determined to challenge their students within the classroom and prepare them for college. Last but not least, I'd like to thank Christ, my God, for holding me morally accountable all throughout high school, as difficult as that was. <laughs> and as a four-year member of Spoken Word, I thought it'd be pretty fitting to share a little poem I wrote. <clears throat> so, High school begins in our freshman year. It is the first look at our peers, partners on a four-year ride. It is fear of embarrassment and swallowing pride. On that first day, a question arises. Will you sit next to me at lunch today? There's little choice but to say yes, and in that moment, an adventure begins. It spawns stomach churning and dizziness, but we don't have to be afraid. High school is friendships. It is laughing uncontrollably during calculus and failing tests together. It is support in times in need. Yet still, high school can also be loneliness. It is confusion and sadness within relationships or struggling to expand your circle. High school is forgetfulness. More than lost homework assignments, it can be a forgotten identity. We begin the cycle of change both within ourselves and our environment, like with the experience of tragedy. High school is volatile and fleeting. It is getting your first part-time job a minimum wage with maximum effort, a waitress, a cashier, a sales associate. It is figuring out how to stretch something temporary into eternity, like that bi-weekly paycheck, or those late nights on FaceTime, or finding out ways to say I'm sorry. It is grief. High school is truancy. It is waking up early and skipping one class to go to another. It is interacting with security guards more often than intended, spitting poetry for Mr. Fudge during competition season. High school is meeting up with your friends during lunch and trying to make that half an hour last as long as possible, but it is never enough. High school is a sacrifice of students and teachers behind the scenes. It is Ms. Pierce and her leadership. It is tears, laughter, shame, love, regret. It is hopes and dreams crushed and ignited. High school is a lesson of hellos and goodbyes. It is waiting for the day you finally graduate and walking through those empty hallways for the last time. It is a realization that we may never see one another again and figuring out where we stand now. Now, in a few hours, high school will just be a memory. That's the end of my piece. In thank you, thank you, thank you. In conclusion, I'd like to say a couple things. A few weeks before writing this speech, a security guard stopped me and congratulated me for my achievements. He went on to talk about how proud he was to see one of us, a black student, taking the title of valedictorian. Although I support, <laughs> although I support every student here at Hollywood Hills, I will also want to emphasize that students who look like me, like us, are able to succeed no matter how the odds are against us, and that we have a new opportunity to prove that point after graduation. And to all of us, now that we better understand who we are, we have a better understanding of our potential. Dwell not on the things you left undone in the past, but on what you can do in your future. With all your will, focus on change, and you will become the person you wish to be. Again, I'm grateful for the opportunity to stand here and speak in front of you all. Thank you. From your valedictorian.
Thank you, Efiani. Ifani, sorry. I will get that one of these days soon. Before you leave, which I doesn't give me much more time, I'm going to get it. As we are about to start the part that we have all been waiting for, our graduates crossing the stage, I'd like to ask our stage graduates to go ahead and step down and get ready to join their graduates on the floor. We are now going to begin roll call. Ms. Butler and Ms. Cabot, Will you please have the top 5% rise and prepare to cross the stage? Ms. Murray, will you please join me at the lectern? Ms. Murray, I certify to you that the students before you have fulfilled all of the requirements as prescribed by the state of Florida and the school board of Broward County and are eligible for high school graduation. It is with pride, honor, and privilege on behalf of the superintendent, I present to you the graduating class of 2021. Thank you, Mr. Mose. By the authority vested in me by the state of Florida on behalf of the superintendent of schools as the official representative of the school board of Broward County, Florida, I hereby pronounce you graduates of Hollywood Hills High class of 2021. Ifani Uwadia. Danielle Miller. Jelena Solomon. Loriston. Jeremy Acaba.
L. Brody. Adeline Cruz. Samantha Ferreira Leda. Randy Forrest. Natalie Esther Sharabi. Mariana Taffer. Josiah Garcia. Maya Lewis. Christina Yanis. Danielle Mazzarella. Naya McDonald. Diana Perez. Lauren Perez. Jomar Santiago Rivera. Congratulations, top 5%. Aurel Abbottbull. Abraham Vinyamin. Freddie Acuna. Samantha Acuna. Jovanoa Aguiar. Jasmine Forbes. Jonathan Agiti. Angeli Albaran Alfanador. Christian Allegria. Lucas Alfonso. Alexis Allen. Jose Alonso. Dante Anderson. Anderlin Antonetti. Nicole Ars Ruiz. Louis Arias Reeves. Rosangela Arosena.
Dimitri Aratunian. Taquan Atkinson. Dion Augustine. Farah Augustine. Noah Avad. Priscilla Badal. Raven Baldwin. Charles Bancare. Sean Barron. Alicia Bell. Arislady Benitez. Andre Betancourt. Crespin Bijou. Ivy Blakely. Alexander Bocanegra. Caleb Borchetti. Austin Bradley. Cindy Brave. Jordan Brennis. Zanetta Brennan. Jade Brown. Abigail Burdick. Corangeli Cabrera Hernandez. Jordan Calles. Katia Carcamo. Christian Cardona Jr. Lucas Carvalho. Juan Sebastian Castro. Daniela Chacon. Alex Torres. Antonio Torres. Devin Orima. Renee Bitten. Don Cheney. Eileen Ching. Scarlett Chiquito. Honesty Klaus.
Emily Kobo. Jaden Cole. Malia Collins. Fabiola Condes Febres. Ernesto Contino. Matias Cooper. Cindy Cordon. Jonathan Corrales. Richard Corrales. Maria Cortez. Christian Cruz. Connor Cunningham. Dorothy Dantes. Debeliz de Jesus. Christian Delgado. David Desheen. Joseph De Tata. Leah Diaz. Wadley Diodone. Jemias Dixon. Victoria Donahue. Cassandra Dorsey. Tejani Douglas. Josie Duarte. Kimani Edgecombe. Amir Elfarani. Rodrigo Escobar. Jennifer Estrada. Nikesha Eugene. Edgar Joseph Fabregas. Grace Forrest. Juan Feliciano. Lorena Fernandez. Hernan Freyer. Lexi Fontanez.
Charlize Galvez. Matthew Garbus. Ashley Garcia Ramirez. Kevin Garcia. Manuel Garcia. Kaylee Giltner. Esther Hiron. Adriana Givens. Jennifer Godinez. Adonis Gomez. Alejandro Gonzalez. Andrew Gonzalez. Angelica Gonzalez. Nazeth Gonzalez. Katherine Greenup. Nerio Giu. Edwin Gunther. Devin Gutierrez. Catherine Gutierrez. Amaya Hamilton. Brianna Harge. Esther Harosh. JC Hastings. Lizbeth Heredia. Kayla Hernandez. Leslie Hernandez. Roberto Hernandez. Frank Herrera. Kiria Holland. Valencia Hutchinson. Trenton Jakes. Piniet Jonto Corongo. Ariel Jean. Leslie Jean. Marie Jean. Jaden Jean Francois.
Amanda Jimenez. Olufemi Jemo. Zayesha Johnson. Kirsten Jolly. Richard Jones. Janelle Jones. Jordan Jones. Davina Joseph. Embert Joseph Jr. Ariel Kaisley. Sarai Kaisley. Otis Kirkland. Kimberly Kissoon. Jordan Klinger. Emily Comis. Leanne Lai. Sherrod Lang. Zoe Levy. Madeline Lewis. Gloria Lopez. Raquel Lopez. Ruth Lorfis. Kenley Lewis Jean. Taliana Marcus. Miranda Mahone. Brittany Mancy. Cassidy Manthorpe. Melanie Marquez. Melissa Marquez. Alan Maldonado. Victoria Marrero.
Cheyenne McKeever. Carolina Medina. Ramel Melendez. Michael Moran. Lena Mohammed. Eduardo Monch. Melvin Monhe. Ashley Montanez. Jean Paul Montellis. David Morales. John Morales. Ethan Monroe. Lauren Murillo. Kenneth Murphy. Kim Nacy. Ashley Navarro. Hung On Nujin. Marianne Noriega Rodriguez. Kayla Nunez. And Manuel Oconda Perez. Sierra Osville. Samir Osville. Anna Olivares. Isaiah Ortega. George Padilla. Jamar Palmer. Juan Pestomo. Anna Perez Paso. Diego Perez. Lois Perez. Daniel Perla. Mark Phillips. Samaria Phillips. Jacob Pick. Isaiah Pilecki. Alexander Plazaola. Tyler Poole.
Miles Priede. Tyler Prince. Sepiorca Pranko. Axel Ramos. Salima Rashid. Humayara Rashid. Indurgesi Ravix. Michael Reed. Edouard Reyes. Guillaume Reyes. Anthony Richards. Marlene Rivas Cruz. Christian Riveron. Ricardo Riveron. Justin Rojas. Daniel Rosa. Zachary Rosenthal. Alexander Ruiz. Jorge Russo. It's the same card. Jose Russo. Emily Ruiz. Jamaya Rials. Ernesto Sabaret. Kaylee Salazar. Tiffany Salvador. Kellen Sanchez. Ashley Sandifer. Tyler Sandifer. Karen Santos. Natalie Santos. Matthew Schneider. Lenny Senatus. Christopher Skurka. Daniel Shlomia. Casey Shock.
Alexander Sigala. Daniela Silva. Naya Sims. Cheyenne Slaughter. Amar Jasmine Smith. Luis Soto Gonzalez. Melina Soto. Jayla St. Hilaire. Patrick St. Pierre. Felipe Suarez. Gerald Surles. Hassan Saeed. Alex Texador. Alexandra Torres. Amy Torres. Joseph Tai. Joseph Urbina. Neshkar Velardi. Andrea Velasquez Lopez. Alexander Villa. Justin Manuel Villava. Rafael Viast. Trong Vu. Kayvon William. Jaria Williams. Shailene Wright. Hughes Xavier. Michael Yeagley. Zhao Tong Zhu. Eric Zaletta. Michael Zane. Remy Zaki. Madison Bentley. Emily Waite. Leanne McLean. Yasmin McGill. Malik McDonald. Cameron Westbury.
Justin Wissant. Raven Debbie. Arnez Mosley. Eddie Senatus. Now introducing our Entrepreneurship Leadership Military Academy graduates. Cameron Camacho. Logan Campos. Judiette Centeno. Felipe Del Pino. Anthony Espinosa Toribio. Elizabeth Geist. Karan Gillett. Gabriela Gutierrez. Arteria Hillman. Fabian Hincapié. Unchi Hoteling. Makaya Hudson. Rahel Himes. Isaiah Jean Simon. Kevin Madrid. Sean Magyar. Ruth Esther Martinez. Elias Mujica. George Paz Leon. Aliyah Perez. Michael Perez. Amin Rashidipur. <laughs> Stephanie Rojas Lopez. <laughs> Samantha Rufin. Kevinese Sands. Abby Jaden Scipio. P. 
Peter Victorio. Stephanie Villarreal. Samantha Villorio. Deonce Williams. This concludes the Hollywood Hills High School Class of 2021 graduates. Now I'd like to call the senior class president, Ms. Jelena Solomon, to the podium. At this time, I pronounce the class of 2021 graduates of Hollywood Hills High School. Jelena, please lead your class in the turning of the tassels. Hey, y'all, who's ready? All right, seniors. Senior class of 2021, now that our diplomas have been certified, it's time to turn our tassels and make it official. But before I let you go, I need to address a few things. When you leave here today, seniors, please continue leading with humility, advocating for inclusivity and loving with passion. Continue recognizing the social, economic, gender, religion, and racial indifferences that has continued to polarize our community and know the power to make a difference and to see a change in our community starts within your hands. But not only is this a special day for us, but also to the MSD students that have lost their lives in 2018. Nine students would be graduating today with us. So let's take nine seconds for their lives. Thank you. Now graduates, please stand. <laughs> Join me in moving our tassels from the right to the left side. Oh my God, oh my God. Ah! Oh my, God. Here, here, here. my tassel left, I mean, fell. There? There you go. There you go. Woo! Thank you, Jelena. Congratulations to all of our 2021 Spartan graduates. You did it. This concludes tonight's celebration. Families, friends, and guests of graduates, thank you so much for being with us here tonight. Please be seated and remain seated until the last graduate has exited the auditorium. Class of 2021, please wait until your row is called to stand and exit. Once again, congratulations, Class of 2021. Congratulations again. We're gonna begin our exit with the first three rows on each side. Students, you guys are gonna go back out towards the cafeteria, turn in your gowns and pick up your diplomas. Parents, we're gonna ask you to wait a minute while the graduates are being dismissed. And then parents, you're gonna exit back out towards the lobby the way that you came into the gymnasium. Thank you guys so much for joining us and go Spartans!
It's all right. 